The way skyscrapers are built is set to change dramatically. To get a sneak preview, I went to a new elevator testing tower in southern Germany. At 246 meters, it's the tallest in the world. The tower is great news for engineer Markus Jetta. He can now finally test his state-of-the-art maglev elevators. The idea of developing a cableless elevator has been around for a century, but we are now taking this step and breaking new ground. We're aware that other elevator manufacturers would also be keen to have this kind of system. And down we head in one of four elevators. This one works with cables. It feels a little like freefall. It takes 30 seconds. It could go faster, but that has a drawback. Eight meters a second. Do you feel it in your ears? They're compensating for the air pressure the whole time. Is there a speed limit? There's no limit as such. It's more a question of comfort for passengers. No elevators descend at speeds faster than 10 meters per second. Because it hurts. Yes, it can hurt. So where are the maglev elevators? We're approaching the core of the tower, which contains the shafts for testing our new elevators. They've been 20 years in development. Unlike conventional models, they function without weights or cables. The elevator cabin sits on a kind of slide that travels along two guide rails. The rails essentially do the same thing a cable does in conventional lifts. Power generates a mobile magnetic field that propels the cabin in the planned direction. The cabin can also travel sideways. What's called the exchanger sets it on the horizontal track. I'm not allowed to take a ride. The engineers are still waiting for safety approval. That should happen in about two years' time. If there's a sudden power outage, the brakes immediately grab the guide rails, hooking the cabin in place. The system would open up entirely new possibilities for architects. Every day in major skyscrapers, thousands of people need transport. One idea is to link several skyscrapers together with horizontal elements. Then passengers would be able to travel in a circle. Because they don't require cables or weights, maglev elevators can also travel much higher than conventional designs. That's why Yetta and his team are testing the elevators for use in new buildings and brand new markets. Using this cableless system, we want to go beyond the limits posed by today's conventional elevators. We want to go far beyond 300 or 600 meters up. We're shooting for the 1,000 meter range. The test tower built by star architect Helmut Jahn is really striking. The company spent money on it for a reason. It's also an elevator showroom for its clients. But lots of people want to visit the viewing platform. Tickets cost 9 euros. 200,000 visitors come every year. Are they annoying or can you use them as guinea pigs? We don't experiment with our visitors and they don't get in the way at all. We've managed to combine the functions. We've organized it very well with the visitors like those you see here today. We can get on with our work just fine with them here. On the way up, my stomach drops into my shoes. The elevators here have special dimensions and weights. The tower was specially built in order to test them. It took 10 months to construct the building's shell. It went up at the rate of several meters a day. It contains a dozen test shafts, offices and a visitor's platform. The exterior of the tower is covered with a translucent textile skin to cut down on the amount of sway when the wind is high. For many visitors, just riding the elevator is experience enough. But Markus Jetta would also like to finally earn money selling the modern elevator systems. It won't be long. 
The first maglev elevator is slated for installation in a skyscraper in Berlin in two years' time.